In today's video from Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Fest 2024, we're taking a look at Ratrig's brand new 3D printer, the V-Core 4. But before we get to that, huge shout out to LDO Motors for sponsoring this year's coverage from Colorado. For printer parts, kits, accessories, and more, check them out at the link in the description. Hello, I'm here with Sanat from Ratrig, and we have the brand new V-Core 4, and he's gonna tell us about all the cool things and changes that they've done to the V-Core series to bring the uh, the four here, and it's not just LEDs. They've done more than just added LEDs. So, <laughs> Sanat, take it away. So, this is the freshly unveiled V-Core 4. We actually just unveiled this yesterday, and we're showing it to the world here at the Rocky Mountain Rap Rap Festival. Uh, this machine has, takes a lot of improvements from V-Core 3. We now have a universal frame that can be converted in three different modes. You have the good old Core XY mode that we already had on V-Core 3, but now we added two uh, extra modes. Uh, one of them is the hybrid mode, which is the one you see on this display unit right now. So that's what those two extra motors up top exactly, are for? Exactly, two extra mot motors for the Y-axis. This uh, effectively doubles the Y-axis acceleration and provides for a lot more performance and precision and uh, speed. Uh, and the same upgrade kit can then be added another upgrade kit on top to convert the machine into an ADEX machine. So you get a second tool head and you get some uh, ooze guards uh, and, and the machine is ready to go for ADEX without having to rebuild anything. You can use the exact same frame. It's now a universal frame. One of the big differences is that we created a frame with mill precisions and quick connectors. And this makes it so much easier to assemble now because everything is very uh, precisely manufactured and there's no squareness or alignment issues. We also have a base plate at the bottom that self-aligns the Z motors and also aligns the bottom of the... So that's an al aluminum base plate? Yeah, exactly. And okay. it's included as part of the kit now. Excellent. Uh, we did away with a lot of the plastic on the machine, so there's a lot more metal than before. All of the XY system is made of metal. You have the front tensioner with, front tensioners with milled uh, aluminium, and then all of the gantry and uh, back motors, it's all made of metal uh, for a much sturdier uh, frame right now. Uh, we've beefed up the linear rails on the Z-axis. Yeah, these are much yeah. beefier than the old ones. Much, much more for an even more consistent first layer. So so what uh, what rails are these? I, I believe it's HG15. Okay. And it's that's it, yeah. Uh, the, the XY continues to use the same MGN12 okay. uh, rails. Um, of course, we have the new tool head that we introduced for the VCore 3. We ported it to the VCore 4, and it comes with uh, some new additions. In particular, we just celebrated the partnership with the Beacon. So we're going to bring the Beacon probe, uh, an automatic Z calibration, to the VCore 4. It's going to come out very soon. It's still not on this machine. This is a, a pre-production machine that yeah, still has super a super pinda. Exactly, right? it still has a super pinda, but we're going to have the production units coming out with uh, the Beacon probe out of the box. Okay, and that's the, the, the beacon probe, the new one that can do nozzle probing That's now, exactly right. right Excellent. Yeah. Yes, yes. Now, we were talking a little bit before this, so this is cap This is an IDEX right now, but this is capable of being IDEX, but you have a cool little system for calibrating your IDEX on this, is that right? Exactly, yeah. It's a visually assisted offset calibration. It uses a camera on the back of the Z-arm to kind of uh, make sure that you can, uh, uh, you know, offset the two heads at the exact uh, correct height, and it makes the process of, uh, of uh, Z calibration much, much easier. So that camera is built into the machine already? Exactly, there's already space on the frame. The, there isn't a mount for the, for the camera on this machine, okay. but you don't need to rebuild anything at all to convert between modes. You already have everything ready to mount the, the camera on the existing machine, yeah. And, and what electronics are powering this? Uh, what do we have for electronics? Um, maybe Cruz is the best person to talk about the electronics. Electronics? Do you want to talk a bit about electronics? It's running the octopus. Okay, so here, just here, one second. We have Miguel here and he's going to tell us about the electronics Hi, powering this thing. Okay, so right now we are offering the octopus Pro okay. V1.1 and uh, a 24 volt power supply, but you actually have space and dedicated mounts so you can run two of the slim ones. So okay. you can have 24 and 48 volts. Oh, okay. If you want to go really crazy. If you want to do 48 volts Yeah, or exactly. Like uh, Raspberry Pi 4. And uh, yeah, the bed is 120, uh, uh, 240 volts, so SSR okay. as well. 
So it's a mains bed. Now, have you looked into using a Kraken? Or is that would be a user option if they want to use a Kraken yeah, instead? That's okay. a user option because we have options to mount little different mounts for multiple boards. Okay. So there's a preset drilling, but you can just use a small printed part on top and the bottom and you can swap boards as you wish. Okay, so the user has some options yeah, if they don't want to exactly. go with the stock route for the electronic. Yep. Awesome. Okay, right. now for the V-Core 4, is there an upgrade path for those that already have a V-Core 3? So if somebody already has one, they want to convert it or upgrade it to a V-Core 4 for IDAX, is that a capability you're going to offer? Or? Okay, we don't have a final answer, but what we can say is that we've always tried to support our existing users and not leave them behind. We have a long history of creating and backporting features uh, for previous versions of the machines. And I can definitely confirm that we'll be trying as hard as we can to port as many features or the most important features uh, uh, of the new machine to the, the old machine. Exactly if this is going to be, you know, partial upgrade kits or a full upgrade kit, I can't confirm right now. A full upgrade kit seems to be almost wasteful at the moment because the machine is so different. You're changing, you're yeah. throwing out so much. Basically, you just uh, maybe reutilize the bed and the electronics. Uh, everything else is probably going to have to be from the beginning, you know. And then we do have some other stuff. So we have the filament is inside the, the print chamber here. We have a Nevermore. Yeah, exactly. This is the what we call internally the red pack. It's a carbon filter but to absorb, uh, you know, fumes. And what size is this machine? This is a 300. Okay. 300 by 300 by 300. And like the V-Core 3, you're going to offer up to 500? Yes. Or? Okay. We, the the V-Core 4 doesn't have the 200, which was the smallest model in the V-Core 3, but the remaining, size, the remaining sizes are, are still the same. Okay, awesome. So now when you put everything together and accounts for the fact that the panels are much cheaper and easier to source, the fact that it includes all of the electronics and pre-cut wires, every connector, every spade connector, every you know, everything is included in the kit. Even though the kit is going to be a bit more expensive than v 3, when you account for all the self-sourcing that you don't need to do, it's actually going to become a bit cheaper actually. So that's, that's really great news. And uh, we really invested on small details on the electronics to make the experience as, uh, as uh, convenient uh, for the user as possible. Um, comes to mind that we have here a new micro limit switch uh, with Omron uh, uh, precision. So it's a much more precise uh, limit switch than we've used in the past. Which, because it's now IDEX, you're gonna want those very precise e end stops. Exactly, exactly. Then we have an electronics case at the back that it has on its own uh, active cooling system. It has PCBs to make it easier to connect to the main board. So there's lots of little details on the electronics that make it uh, you know, a far more complete and convenient uh, experience with all cable management f thought out from the beginning. We have a little cover for AC electronics for safety. So we have a lot of little details like that that make the machine uh, far more polished for sure. So it's, it's essentially a more refined, more capable upgrade for the V-Core 3. For sure, for sure. Excellent. Right. So when will this be available for those that want to purchase? Okay, so we actually started capturing uh, an early birds uh, newsletter, and we're already offering the machine to the, our uh, early bird subscribers. We got a lot of sales from early bird orders. So now we're making sure that we can fulfill all those orders be be before making the machine widely available to the public. So I don't have a final date when we intend to release, but it's looking like end of April is an optimistic date, okay. even though we'll have to see how many orders we have on the early bird pro process. Okay, so near future, <laughs> exactly, near future. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. So thank you Sadat for giving us a rundown of the Rat Rig V-Core 4. Check them out online. Thank you. Thank you.